What's the word, y'all? Always watching TV. Back with another exclusive. You know the vibes. Hit the like button if you're rocking with the content. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you're notified whenever I drop. And today we got your boy Wack 100 telling us about the time when he had to run down on Bobby Brown for trying to holler at his wife, man. Wack 100 said he was in the studio and Bobby tried to shoot his shot at his wife. And things went left. Oh, man, goddamn. I'm not gonna speak for WAC 100. Y'all know how we do over here. I'm gonna let the clip play, and we gonna chop it up at the end of the video. Let's get into it. Gang! I'll never forget, right? I never even told nobody this, but when I was young, I came over my baby mama house. She was, we wasn't even had no kids. And she had a, a um, new addition poster going behind the door, right? So I'm like, what's up with that? She said, Aren't, no, they're just cute. They're all cute. So that day I started hating new edition, right? So let's fast forward. That's like 92, 91, right? So let's fast forward to like 2002, three, or four, somewhere around there. And I pull up to the studio to meet, I don't know, it was Tubby from Miniscope, somebody I meant to meet. And Bobby Brown was in the studio. He in the studio, that's who he in there with, right? So I come out and tell him, my wife with me. As I'm standing there, Bobby go to, now he don't know me, I don't know him. This his studio, so you know, most artists in their studio, it's a bunch of flunkies or a bunch of yes, right, right. they just doing what they want to do, right? For sure. And the nigga I'm going to meet is the industry nigga. So he come on the thing, go to walk by, and look at my wife and slow up and say, God damn, baby, you looking good. I draw right down on the nigga, all up on his neck. Tubby like, why, why? I don't even know if it's Tubby. You know who I was there with? I told that nigga, nigga, I ain't never liked you anyway. I might have just got off parole, whack. I still got braids in my yeah, head. Bitch sure. ass nigga, I ain't even liked you anyway. Not you punch Bobby right? Brown. Oh. No, I drew down on him. I stuck a nine all up on his head. So he like, homie, woo to woo to woo woo. So the other, <laughs> what, what, he telling niggas in the room, bro, all don't move, man. Don't woo 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 woo, right? So I said, nigga, you ever disrespect me like that, you <laughs> nigga? No, you fing with nigga. He brother, 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 woo, 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 woo. I walk him all the way outside with him. Put yeah. him on the wall. Tell her to get in the car. I get up out of there because I don't know somebody didn't call 911 or whatever. Right. Right? We get in the car, get on the freeway. She said, damn, why'd you snap like that? I said, you remember you told me all them niggas was cute with that post in your door? <laughs> I said, you know, you know what the problem was? What? I said it wasn't now posting me up in your room. I hated them niggas ever since. Blood said he backed out, ran down, and put the blicky to Bobby Brown neck, man. All because he gave that man wife a compliment. Do y'all believe that story? Wax said this was back in the days. He was fresh off of parole. He still had braids, and he claimed he had a flashback from when he first came home from jail, and his baby mother had a picture of New Edition on the wall. Like, bro, what? And you held on to that, and when you finally ran into this man, that's what you did because he told your wife she looked good, or he called her sexy, or whatever the compliment was? Come on, dog. This man is ludicrous. I need to know what y'all think about this, how y'all feel about this. Do y'all believe this story? And do y'all believe this is how it went down, man? Because, I mean, how are we going to confirm or deny these allegations? Bobby Brown ain't about to come on Clubhouse and call Wack no liar. So how are we going to figure this out, Gangnam? I'm sure Wack ran into Bobby at his studio and something could have transpired, but do y'all believe that this is how it went, man? Blood said he backed out and put the jaw to Bobby neck, man. That's wild. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. It's always watching TV. You know the vibes. And until next time, I'm out of here. Gang!